Welcome to Yay K Cook. A lot of people ask me, Martin, you love to cook and you love to eat, but how do you stay so slim? Because I eat right and exercise. <laughs> you see, I specially design my kitchen this way. I put my oven on one end, and then 200 yards away, I put my refrigerator. This way, every day, I jog around. <laughs> this way, I burn up enough calories so I can eat anything I want. So right now, since I burn up so many calories, now I am ready to cook so we can all eat. Are you ready or what? <laughs> now, the first light and healthy dish I want to show you is very, very simple. It's velvet corn soup. All I have is this. Here is approximately one can of cream of corn. You can make use of fresh corn, OK? Here, I also have approximately half a pound to quarter of a pound. You can use anywhere from quarter pound to one pound to half a pound, depends on how much. This is shrimp. I use about half a pound. And also, I have some wonderful ham. You can use smoked ham. And here, I have some chopped water chestnut. I want to quickly, in the meantime, I want to get ready my broth. OK? I need about six cups of broth. And I cut this up into long strips like this because I want to save time by putting them all together and cut it up into chunks like this. This is also very good, aside from jogging. This is great exercise to burn out calories. <laughs> this is 17,000 calories already burned up. More calories being burned up. You see, you do it with rhythm. You don't do it like this. If you want to burn up calories, you go. If you don't want to care about burning up carrot, you go. <laughs> See that? And then when it's done, I put this over here in the broth, OK? And then also, I stir in my cream of corn, OK? Wonderful. Don't want to waste any, OK? Stir this a little bit. And then I also want to put some water chestnut, scoop this. Water, chopped water chestnut, use fresh water chestnut, or you can use canned water chestnut. And then for the prawn, I am going to also cut this up a little bit. Now, you see how you do it? One by one if you have time. If you don't have time, you do it. <laughs> Exercise all the way. Now, a lot of people don't want, don't wonder, why in China, most of the Chinese cook are so slim? I want to tell you the truth, because the way you prepare food. In China, most of the Chinese cook are a lot slimmer than the jazzercise instructor. <laughs> make sure you turn them around and mix well, otherwise you're going to end up having a gigantic shrimp ball. OK? <laughs> and then we are going to season this with a tiny bit of salt. This is about half a teaspoon of salt, a tiny bit of white pepper. Sprinkle this right here. And then chop up some green onion. You can do this ahead of time. But if you want to burn out more calories, you should do everything in the last minute. <laughs> and all done. Then you put it over here, green onion. Then when it's all nice and done, bring it to a boil, OK? When it's nice and done, what are you going to do? All you have to do is put approximately one tablespoon of soy sauce to give that lush touch of nice golden brown color, OK? And then, last minute, put a tiny bit of sesame seed oil. Wow, look at this. Beautiful, nice and wonderful. When it's done, all you have to do is shut it off and then take it over here. And you want, this is the last touch, add the egg white, make an egg white flour drop. Look at this. Put this in, dribble in, and then you stir this and stir this in, and this is what you call velvet corn soup. Light and healthy. When it's ready, you take it over here. And I want to show you, we are going to serve these wonderful. The good thing about this is, this is not very, very 
filling, yet it's very hearty, okay? It is perfect for those who want to eat light, fill you up, but not with calorie or cholesterol. See how wonderful. And then the good thing about this is you can eat the darn thing with a spoon or a fork. <laughs> for me, I am gonna use my chopstick. It's wonderful. This is all done. It's beautiful, very light, very easy. Everybody can do. Now, let me remove all these because I'm gonna do something here everybody would like. Here, I am gonna do a dish called watercress and orange apple salad. This salad, first, I have two bunch of this watercress. You can use spinach, you can use lettuce. It doesn't make any difference. I think, in my opinion, on the best idea come out of China is, of course, gunpowder and a lot of things. But yet, the only good idea that didn't come out of China is salad. All it is, it's just a cut up vegetable. You toast them up, you make a mess, you get a fancy name, salad. <laughs> Can you imagine you call it chop suey vegetable? <laughs> now, here is two bunch already nice and trim and already clean up, okay? Nice watercress. And then here, I have a tiny, tiny bit of a little piece of nice orange. I cut it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Make sure it is nice and sharp. Look at this. If it's not sharp enough, what happened? You're making orange juice. <laughs> you see? Put them all together. You see how I put them all together? I put one over here, and I put one like this, see? And I slice it up. If you want to make it fancy, you can add a tiny bit of hecoma. Okay, look at this. I'm going to cut up a tiny piece of hecoma. <laughs> hecoma. Julian, this. And also, you can use a tiny, tiny bit of apple. Julian, some apple. I pick up some apple in the supermarket. This particular apple is from New Zealand. Nice and firm. It got a very interesting texture. Crispy texture, clean, refreshing taste. It's great for this particular dish. I'm gonna put this up, okay? And then, I also make a tiny, tiny bit of lemon zest. You see, very physical. And put them all together and then sprinkle it around. Then you're gonna make a dressing. This dressing is very, very good. Here, I have oil, about two to three tablespoons of oil, vegetable oil, orange juice, and a tiny, tiny bit of sesame seed oil, and salt, one teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of sugar and a tiny bit of white pepper. Mix it up. Very, this is another technique. You can burn out 16,000 calories. <laughs> I am burned up. <laughs> you see, this way, you can all put it over here. This is the dressing. Give it a homogenized mixture to touch it off. This is how you do it, to pick, basically touch it off, sprinkle a tiny, tiny bit of toast sesame seed, and also some candy ginger. What do you think? Do you think it's light and healthy or what? <laughs> the watercress orange apple salad is so light. I eat the whole thing by myself. See, I didn't gain any weight. It's wonderful, it's light and refreshing. Now, I would like to also mention it to you. In Chinese cuisine, in Chinese culture, a lot of Chinese people, particularly my mother and my mother's grandmother, they believe in Chinese herbs. And this is what you can find in some of the Chinese herbs. Look at this. This is bakke. It's improve your blood circulation. It looks like this, see? And it also improves your fatigue. If you have fatigue, this is good. This is uh, what they call Geiji, there's a little red berry. Red berry is good, supposed to believe to improve your vision. And also liver, diabetes, and also got a little sweet flavor. You can put it in soup on your stew. This is what they call nam hang, sweet almond. Here we have wai san. This is actually a root. 
very uncut. It's a whole big root like this. It looks like a piece of chalk. And what it is, is it's good for your kidney and your lung. And here, also good for indigestion. Here, this is Dong Gui. It's good for ladies, uh, female ailment. And also in China, a lot of women, after they give birth to a child, they would put this and cook with chicken. Supposed to be good for the ladies. I have never tried it myself, so I don't know how good it is. <laughs> and this is doujong. It's just like a bark. You see this? This is doujong. What it is is twist baggage and hypertension. And here with this lingji, medicinal, wonderful, ex very expensive mushroom. This little piece cost me about 16 bucks. And when I when it rings, this is my little umbrella. <laughs> Look at this. It's very, it's very firm, very hard. Now, this is ginseng, and this is what they call Buddha's fruit. See, this is supposed to be good for tumor and also very, very good for cramps. And this is a little seahorse, and this is a little, what they call juk hok cha. It is just for indigestion. And I went, yesterday, I went to a herbalist store. Look at this, this is my prescription. You see this? This is my prescription, all kind of things. And this is what it is. All kind of stuff that I got from the Chinese pharmacists. They have to learn how to identify thousands and thousands of these herbs. And here is Leung Cha, one of the most popular. That's like the Chinese um, a headache. You good for fever, headache, indigestion. If you ran out of this, all you have to do is go to your bag and get a piece of wood like this and put them all together. You have Leung Cha. Very easy to do. And I am going to also show you some of these are so expensive. You have to use this scale to do it. Look at this. This is doujong. See this? This is a Chinese scale. Stay put. <laughs> and then I'm going to keep it all for myself. This is all. I'm going to remove these, put it over here. And then this way, we can continue to do our next dish, which is tofu with minced turkey. All I have is approximately half a pound of turkey, okay? You can use chicken if you want. All you will need is about eight pounds, eight ounces or so. In the meantime, I also want to heat up my wok because you always want to make sure your wok is hot enough. And I want to show you how easy it is to mince turkey. Turkey is good because very little fat. You cut into long strips like this, see this? Okay, then you cut into little chunks like this you see? And then you use one knife. If you only have one knife, but I happen to have two knives, so I use two knives. When you have time, you can have some fun. <laughs> Done. See how easy? Not only you have accomplished your mission, not only that, you have burned out and other 4,500 calories. <laughs> now, then you marinate this with a tiny bit of dry sherry and a tiny bit of soy sauce. Now, if you're concerned about sodium intake, you can use a tiny, tiny bit of reduced sodium soy sauce, which is only about half as much, okay? Put a tiny bit of soy sauce here, and then you are ready to cook here. I'm going to add, when the wok is hot enough, I add a tiny bit of zest, vegetable oil, move them around, and also get ready a tiny, tiny bit of ginger, minced ginger. <laughs> then you stir fry. Wow, look at this. We will stir fry. The Particularly this, particularly this is very, very easy to do. Now, a lot of people don't know. How many of you know that tofu, this is tofu, okay? How many of you know that tofu? It is kosher. It's non-animal, it's non-dairy. So, let me show you how to make something is exciting. And also, an other secret. Turkey, I'm really Chinese. In China, we don't go around and calling one another turkey. <laughs> Then, when it's done, you put this tofu 
How many of you know that nowadays you can actually buy tofu in a package that you don't have to refrigerate it, it lasts for six to eight months. And then, if you want to give some color, all you have to do is cut up some of these and you go, put them half of a real bed, real. You, you have, if you have, you can have green bell pepper or you can have red bell pepper. Toss, toss. Put a tiny bit of broth. Look at this. And also hoisin sauce. Make sure to give nice touch. In the final minute, let's make sure this is nice and wonderful. And you said, how do you want to serve this? Of course, you serve this over rice. And if you want, I also want to show you how quickly, how easy it is to make a little simple garnishing before you do that. Now, a simple garnishing is very, very easy to do. Look at this. This is a little piece of carrot, okay? All you have to do is cut it up like this. This is a garnishing tool. Look at this. Isn't it easy and wonderful? Isn't it cute? Then you put it one over here. If you only have time to do one, you only do one. <laughs> it is beautiful. It makes me feel like I want to gobble it up. Now, we all know fish is great for a light and healthy diet. So for our next dish, I went to the fish market earlier. So let's take a look. I told you I'm gonna bring you back to my second home, a fish market. When I was growing up, my mother always served freshwater fish. And among the more popular freshwater fishes, of course, catfish. Look at this, this is a visque. Nice catfish, you can fillet it, it's delicious. Not much bone. And here, we have a black fish. Look at this, nice, shiny, clear eye, not cloudy. And here, of course, we have my good friend, the cup. Look at this, Neoma, the fish say, ho, ho. That means he said, very well. Of course, the most important thing is look at the eye, which is nice and shiny and clear, and you poke it and make sure it's firm and bouncy and springy. And once again, look at the gill. Look at this, nice and red. That means this fish is very, very fresh. Last test. Last tips, take a sniff and smell it and make sure it doesn't have the fishy smell. This is very fresh because it smell, doesn't smell like a fish. It's not a fishy fish. So we're gonna show you how to do some fresh water fish today. Oh, it smells fresh water breeze. It's not fishy fish. Nice and fresh. I always, always refuse to eat fish unless it's nice and fresh. The next one I'm gonna show you how to do is another light and healthy dish, poached fish fillet with a soy sauce dressing. Very, very simple. Here I have approximately one pound of fish fillet. We don't even have to worry about scale it. Everything is already done. I'm gonna poach it, okay? First of all, I'm gonna put a few pieces of ginger and then one little piece of green onion, and then I put the fish right in here. A lot of people feel intimidated when they pre prepare fish. That's why they only stick with fish stick. And I don't care for fish on a stick. So I'll show you, that's why I show you this poached fish fillet. You can poach the whole fish, it doesn't make any difference. Now, why I'm poaching this, I'm gonna also give you a little coaching on poaching. Patience, rule number one. If you're doing a lot, you might want to cover up. If you cover up, make sure you don't lift the lid up every 30 seconds. Otherwise, you'll be poaching for two years. <laughs> so I am, while I'm poaching that, I'm going to also show you how easy it is to make this dressing. This is going to be about two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine and about one to two teaspoons of sesame seed oil. And also, I'm going to use about two to three tablespoons of Soy sauce, okay. One and a half, two, two and a half, <laughs> exactly three tablespoons. And then you mix this up, very, very easy. Look at this. 
Look at this. All of these are great exercise. Burn up calorie. <laughs> you can get totally exhausted. <laughs> set it aside, and to make it fancy, we are going to do some simple. I'm going to set this aside. Because I don't need this anymore. How easy it is to julian the green onion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is how you julian. Look at this. You see this? Set it aside because we want to use it on the dish. Now, the next thing I want to show you since I have some time because I am poaching my fish. A lot of people, they might want to, particularly the outdoor type, you might want to forget about the fish fillet. You might want to go and do your whole fish. But if you are outdoor time and get the fish yourself, feel free to fillet fish. That's a hard one. Feel free to fillet fish. <laughs> I have to go home and practice more time. Here, I'm going to show you something, which is also, you ask, what are you going to do? I'm going to do chocolate tofu ice cream. Very, very light because tofu is very, very low in calorie and also absolutely no cholesterol, okay? Here, I am gonna show you how easy it is to make it. I'm gonna use one of these package of tofu, which is about one pound. Nice, and put it right over here. Put a tofu right over here. Make sure you put it in the right place, otherwise <coughs> it will make a mess. Mold. You soft tofu, okay? And then also four ounces of semi-melted sweet chocolate. Look at this. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful. Chocolate tofu. Isn't that look wonderful? Okay. This is semi-sweet, not the sweetest one. It's slightly melted, okay? And then also use a tiny bit of sugar. Sugar to your taste. Don't add too much if you are on a diet. I am on a diet, so this is all I add. You can use honey or sugar, okay? Also, use a tiny, tiny bit of sugar and a tiny bit of salt. Not much, quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And also vanilla extract, tiny, tiny bit. And then also put a tiny bit of milk. If you are diet conscious, use low-fat milk, okay? Put it over here, and this is all I need, okay? And then we are going to make this into a puree. Pulse, pulse. After this, you're going to put in your ice cream machine. Then you can make it. Wow, I am doing such a wonderful job. I'm smoking my kitchen. <laughs> That's exciting. That's also exercise. When it's smoke, you go. Wonderful. Everything you do, when it's done, you set everything aside and put a tiny, tiny bit of oil if you want. Use only vegetable oil. Give a nice, smooth texture, okay? One more time. Wow, this is gonna be wonderful. When it's done, when the fish is done, we are gonna show you how wonderful it is to remove these. Let's put this. This is fish already poached. I put it right over here. Look at this, beautiful, huh? And then, put another one. I'm heating up some oil over here. Poach. Very, very hot. And then, I put a tiny, tiny oil, listen to this. Sprinkle a tiny bit of green onion, hot oil. Wow! This just a tiny bit. And then also put the soy dressing right over here. You have a very nice poached fish. And in the meantime, <laughs> all you have, look at this. I make some extra of this ice cream earlier. Look at this. I put in the freezer the machine. I'm gonna scoop this out. I love this. Since I'm doing so much exercise today, actually, I can have double scoop. <laughs> I love it. 
what the heck? This is wonderful. I have a double scoop. Here, what I have show you today is tofu chocolate ice cream, poached filet. One last word on health and fitness. For those of you who don't like to jog, I have a perfect solution. Walk, don't run. <laughs> like me, you will probably burn up more calories. That way, until next time, keep talking. If you're in Ken Cook's talk, can you try this?